back to my channel. This is Billionaire Mandy and today we are going to do a Shea Moisture video. I am going to share with you. I have a ton of Shea Moisture products and I'm going to share with you some of my must-haves from Shea Moisture and some of my regrets from Shea Moisture. Now Shea Moisture is on the pricier side of um, hair products and also they are one of the first I think, don't quote me, um, products out there that cater to women of color and cater to natural hair. So when I started my natural hair journey or when I was thinking about it, I invested in a bunch of Shea Moisture products just to figure out um, what I liked, what was working for my hair, and what I would keep on and on. So let's first head into shampoos. Um, so we're going to go through the, all the, most of the products that I have um, that I want to mention. Um, some of them I have used out and I didn't keep the bottle. But um, let's start with the shampoos. Makatu Honey and Mafara, Mafara Oil. It's an intensive hydration shampoo with African rock fig and ba, ba, boa, ba, boa Baba Oil. Um, and 100% of the sales go to the community um, commerce initiative, which is one of the reasons why I got this because I really like products that um, tend to give back to the community. Now this is almost finished, it's like right here, and this is what that looked like. Um, this was about $12, I think. Um, I think I got it from my local Walgreens. Most of these products I've gotten from Walgreens, um, and. I really love this shampoo it's amazing it's not a clarifying shampoo in the way that it's not um it doesn't dry my hair out so that's amazing and it it is sulfate free um, and it is color safe I really love this one so this I would repurchase only because it moisturizes my hair and with all of um, the Shea Moisture products it has all good stuff so it's not that I won't buy it because it had something bad in it. It's just it didn't work for my hair or it didn't um, leave my hair feeling the way I wanted it to feel. So I would definitely buy this again. And if you have not tried this line, try this line. You should definitely go ahead and try it. This is the shampoo. Forget the shampoo to this in my bathroom. But I do have the shampoo to. So this is the super fruit, um, the super fruit complex line. And I have the shampoo to this. It is a little bit thinner than this one. Um, and it is a little bit more clarifying than the other one. So I would say if you were looking to get that squeaky clean, um, I would go ahead and get the shampoo to this one because that's what that one does. And I, lo I love that one also. So I've tried three of their shampoos before. I've tried um, this one. I've tried the Super Fruit Complex line. And I've tried um, the Hibiscus one. And I love them both. So it's safe to say that I love all their shampoos. Um, when it comes to their conditioners, I have three conditioners here. Okay, let's start with the Manuka one. The Manuka Honey I love as well. This line seems to be amazing. I, I want to go ahead and get one of their moisturizing products from this line since I'm in love with the shampoo and conditioner. I always start with the shampoo and conditioner for the line. And then I work my way down. Complex, I really love this one as well. It is very light. Um, if you can see, that's what it looks like in there. It's nice and thick, but it's light as well. It's, a, it's really good. Um, this is one of my favorites too because it has biotin in it. Um, this as well has marula oil and biotin. It's a 10 in 1 complex and I really love this one. Regrets was the dandruff control conditioner. Um, I did not like this at all. I feel like it literally just rests on my hair and it doesn't penetrate to do anything. Um, so this didn't work out for me. It is the African black soap dandruff control conditioner with tea tree and willow bark extract for dry itchy scalp and I do have dry itchy scalp which is one of the reasons why I got the whole line and it just didn't work for me um, it didn't do anything that it said it was going to do for me um, so that's why I would not go ahead and get this one and that's why it's like so full because I tend to, I'm just trying to use it out because I paid for it 
but um, I did not like that one as much. Okay, so let's go to this is also the black soap and dandruff the dandruff control hair mask from Shea Moisture. I really love their packaging, um, but this also did not work for me. So it's safe to say that that line, the dry the dry control hair mask. The African black soap did not work for me. Um, this as well. Whenever I deep condition, my hair feels the exact same way before I deep condition. It just sits on my hair and it does not penetrate the hair shaft at all. And it has this really um weird feeling of you know when, you, when products are just resting on your hair and it didn't do anything. So this has that feel. Um, and so I didn't like that. Also, went ahead and got the Tahitian Noni and Moni Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask, and that's what it looks like. It is also from Shea Moisture. It's the green line. Most people call the lines by the label, the color of the label. And I really love Shea Moisture. Um, I love their initiative. I love the vibe. I love everything they stand for, and I will continue to buy their products. Like, I'm not gonna like everything. Granted, um, this is what this one. I didn't open it and tell you what they look like, but this is what this one looks like, and it smells amazing. Um, I love this. This also works for me. It is, it is, however, not the best deep conditioner. So if I just want, you know, just a little bit of zhuzh, um, this does it for me. It does not. It's not to me. It's not a mask. It's more of like a conditioner, a thicker conditioner. Um, and it has keratin and uh, botanical extract. So this smells amazing. It has that really like. That really light, fresh smell to it. Let me tell you what this one smells like. It smells like <laughs> like a dandruff shampoo. That's the, this line also um, has that kind of dandruffy shampoo type of line. But the sh this one, the super complex, smells amazing. Really fresh. I love that about them. Their products smell so fresh and amazing. And then I. Not too fond of how this one smells, but this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength, Growth, Restore, and Leave-In Conditioner with shea butter and peppermint and keratin. That was a mouthful. Oh my gosh. But this is what this one looks like. It is really watery and runny. Um, that's what the consistency looks like. That's a leave-in conditioner. Um, and I am not a fan of this. Um, I haven't used it that much. I've used it a few times and I did my favorite is the Cantu and so if my hair is not feeling like the Cantu when I'm done, I tend to just revert to my Cantu. Uh, but the Cantu doesn't have all, doesn't have all good things for you. But um, this one I wouldn't buy again unless I figure out how to make it work for my hair. If I do figure out by the time I get here, I'll come back and let you know. But for right now, I um, this is not a favorite of mine. I would give this one like a 6 out of 10. The next deep conditioner is, this one was $13.49, the price is already on, it was, it's still on here. This is the deep, the raw shea, but, shea butter deep treatment mask with shea, with shea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair. And this is the, like the brown line. Um, this is the mask. That's what that looks like. I have, I've used it once before. Um, a really long time ago it really settled back in it doesn't have a overpowering scent it's just like really like light fresh and powdery um it's okay this one's okay like this one is like the so it's safe to say that the masks haven't really worked out for me that much um yeah the shampoos and the, the shampoos and the conditioners I love um, and I'm gonna tell you another product that I love in a minute, but the I haven't found the right mask yet So if you guys have a mask from Shea Moisture that you use you can go ahead and leave it in the comments below And I'll be sure to try it out and let you know how it worked for me now. Oh My god, I saved the best for last. This is my favorite product. It is coconut and hibiscus curling jelly souffle Yes, honey with agave nectar and flaxseed I, I freaking heart Shea Moisture for all the good stuff they put in my hair. Like, literally. So, this one was $13.99 plus tax. Um, and that's what that looks like. Smells amazing. Oh my god. I know I'm getting oily because I'm like so hot. And it's like so hot in there. I can't put the AC or the fan on. You can hear that in every single video for the next few weeks because it's hot. Um, I love this. Like, I, I love, oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'm gonna do a video with my um my routine after I come out of the wash. Three products. My this is my in my lock method. This is my C in my lock method. Life. Like this is just this is everything in life. Like hallelujah. So this I love this. So I'm gonna definitely try some more of their curling products and see how it works for my hair. This leaves my hair so soft. Like I ha I put this in last Monday. Today is Sunday, and my hair is still moisturized. Like it is crazy how well this product works. Um, it is amazing. It is amazing. Like thank you so much for watching my Shea Moisture video. Um, please be sure to share this video uh, to help other people and comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Shea Moisture product and I will be sure to try it out and let you know how it works for me. I am always excited to try new products and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!